All right, welcome back to the channel. Warhammer Man back in the studio, and today we're taking a look at some FAQs that just dropped for Kill Team. Uh, if you like this sort of content, everything from Warhammer 40,000, Kill Team, Necromunda, Age of Sigmar, and Warcry content, reactions, reviews, customizations, paint jobs, and anything to do with the hobby, this is your one stop shop. So let's take a look at what's going on here. So we see that uh, over on the Warhammer community site, we have a bunch of old FAQs, but also they dropped a bunch of new ones as well. Uh, it's sort of messed up right now, so it's showing all the different languages uh, in order to see like all the FAQs that came out. But uh, I want to focus specifically on the core rules, the compendium, and then the four bespoke kill teams from Chalnath and also uh, Octarius as well. So uh, let's take a closer look. So just starting here with the core rules, uh, we see here initially from the core book on page 70, line of sight cover, change the second bullet point to read, the intended target is within triangle of a point at which a cover line crosses another operative's base, unless that operative is not itself in the active operative's line of sight, or a terrain feature that provides cover. So essentially, I believe what they're getting at with this one is, if the operative A, the one you're trying to shoot at, is being obscured by operative B, but operative B is not visible to the firer, then operative B does not obscure, obscure operative A. So super confusing, but basically, if you can't see a guy, that guy can't block vision to the guy you can see. That's what they're getting at with this. So it makes sense. Uh, next we have page 72, terrain traits. Add the following trait, scalable, this trait can be applied to terrain features more than two circle tall. Each time an operative climbs that terrain feature, the final incremental distance of less than circle is ignored instead of being rounded up to circle. So some of the Games Workshop terrain is four inches tall and some of it is more than four inches tall, like five inches or so. So essentially it just says that it's only going to take you four inches to climb up the terrain. You don't like have to have extra movement to make it up that last little bit so you're basically going to round off the last circle instead of it being a full circle so it's still going to cost you two circle or four inches to climb up five inch tall terrain essentially uh, then we have drop change the first paragraph to read a drop is when an operative descends from a height without climbing the operative must be within triangle of the edge of the terrain feature it will drop from and then intended location must be vertically within three circle of the level it occupies so it's basically saying the max you can drop is six inches or three circle the operative can drop from the terrain feature counting the vertical distance it travels towards the total distance it moves the vertical distance is measured in increments of circle rounding down note that a total vertical distance of less than circle is therefore ignored an operative can perform a dash action during a drop in order to reach its intended destination. So previously, if you were, say, six inches off the ground and you only had four inches or two circle worth of movement, uh, there was sort of a weird area where you might not be able to make it to the ground, so you couldn't really get down. So now you're able to drop the remaining distance using your dash action basically and then also if you're dropping less than circle or less than two inches uh, it doesn't take any additional movement you basically get like that little bit for free so page 142 blast x change the special rule to read each time a friendly operative performs a shoot action and selects this weapon or in the case of profiles this weapon's profile after making the shooting attack against the target make a shooting attack with this weapon using the same profile against each other operative visible to and within x of the original target each of them is a valid target and cannot be in cover x is the distance after the weapons blast eg blast an operative cannot make a shooting attack with this weapon by performing an overwatch action so you can't overwatch with a blast weapon but now when you shoot a target that is visible to you you can now hit targets that were not visible to you as where previously it was not specified so it essentially said just one more time going over it um, make a shooting attack with this weapon against each other operative visible to and within X each of them is a valid target and cannot be in cover okay so if you shoot the initial target a and targets B and C let's say are visible but would not necessarily be a valid target because of heavy cover or something or their conceal order etc you're still a valid target because they are in fact visible 
and then they can't gain cover because the blast is exploding right next to them. It's not exploding from the firer. So that actually makes sense. That's a good one. I like that so far. So far, these make sense. They're definitely just kind of fixing a couple things that were sort of mistaken or wrong. Uh, next we have from the mission pack, Shadow Operations, Octarius, War Mission Pack, Kill Team Octarius, page 93, Mission 3.3, Breach Defenses, Spec Ops Campaign, Tech Ops Bonus. Change to read, if you scored three or more victory points from security or infiltration Tech Ops during this battle, you gain one additional requisition point. Okay, sure. So that's our core rules one. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, I think the blast one is probably the most consequential. And then obviously the line of sight cover one uh, makes sense as well. Because if you can't see the first guy, it doesn't make sense that he is able to block the second guy. Uh, so next we have our compendium. Uh, there's quite a few here. So let's take a look. So Space Marine, Death Watch Veteran, page 9. First arrow point, add the following to the Death Watch Veteran Watch Sergeant Operative's equipment options. Uh, so you can take a Death Watch bolt gun and power weapon. Page 19, Tactical Marine Sergeant, Combi Melta, add the following critical hit rule, Mortal Wound 4. So that was just missing from the data sheet. Page 29, Smoke Grenade Action, change the third sentence to read until the end of the turning point. An operative is obscured if every cover line drawn to crosses an area of smoke so previously it said any cover line now it says every cover line so if you're the smoke completely blocks a cover line uh you know you're not visible so it makes sense they don't want it to just be any part of the cover line they want it to be every part of the cover line because obviously the smoke needs to obscure you so that makes sense uh space marine and gray knight pages 28 and 35 tactical ploys only in death does duty end Change the second sentence to read, that operative is not removed from the kill zone until the end of your next activation or the end of the battle, whichever comes first, and does not count as being injured. So essentially what that's doing is, if you played only in death does duty end right before the game is over and you don't have another activation, the model still gets removed before the end of the actual game. So that makes sense. You don't have any activations left. Therefore, previously, the model would just stay on the battlefield. And that might mess with like calculating victory points or whatever. Uh, in this case, you still remove that model from the battlefield, even if you never get to take another activation. So that's how it was intended to be played. Uh, Imperial Guard, page 38. Guardsman Gunner, characteristic change the save characteristic to 5+. plus. So he just had the wrong save on there. Uh, that's the same as all of them. Tempest Assign comms. Gun butt, change the weapon skill characteristic to 3 plus. Again, just coming in line with everything else. Tempester Power Fist, add the following special rule Brutal. Uh, so, you know, that obviously makes it harder to parry, but all Power Fists have that rule. So, again, just missing. Strategic Ploys, Guardsman Orders, page 41, change the second sentence to read All friendly Tempestus Science operative and all friends, friendly Guardsman operatives within red of visible to and visible to a friendly Imperial Guard leader operative are issued that Guardsman order. So it's basically just saying the Tempestix Scion, the Scions and the Guardsmen can both be affected by the orders as where previously uh, it just had Imperial Guard. So now you're making sure that Scions and Guardsmen can both issue orders to each other. Uh, so page 42, med kit, change the first sentence to read the operative gains the meta keyword until the start of the next battle and can perform the following action during the battle. Uh, Ecclesiarchy, page 52, battle sister fire team specifications adds the following. Your kill team can only include up to one sister icon bearer operative. Uh, that's coming into line with everything. Previously it did not say that, but it was obvious because that was the case for everything. So if you take two fire teams, you can't take a icon in each of the fire teams you can only take one total in the whole army so that's normal uh, page 61 talons of the emperor custodian guard warrior and custodian guard leader characteristic change the apl characteristic to three uh, so we know that was already the deal it was previously four now they're making it three 64 tactical ploys brotherhood of the demigods change to read use this tactical ploy at the end of the firefight phase Select one friendly Adeptus Custodes operative to perform one free fight or overwatch action. This does not count as an activation. So it's limited now. We already knew that was coming. So essentially it just lets you, 
when you use the Brotherhood of the Demigods, you can now only use a free fight or free Overwatch action. Uh, you cannot do all the extra stuff that you previously could. So no like move actions or anything like that. Uh, Death Guard, page 76, played Marine Champion characteristic. Changed the move characteristic to two circle. Uh, it was just an error in the book. Same as all the other Marines. Thousand Suns, page 86, strategic ploy, malicious follies. Changed the last sentence to read, a bolt weapon is a ranged weapon that includes bolt in its name, excluding Doom Bolt. So obviously it was not intended for Doom Bolt. Uh, it was meant for bolt guns. Chaos Demon. So, so far these are all just like pretty much gimmies. Uh, nothing crazy, no crazy changes that are blowing our minds here. It's just about like how things were intended versus how they were like rules as written raw. Pages 92 and 93, Demonite Icon Bearer and Demonite Horn Blower. Claws change the attack characteristic to four. Okay, that makes sense. They were missing one attack basically. So it, I wasn't sure if it was intended to be like that or not, honestly, because they were holding the icon or the horn, but they were down one attack basically. Kamerite, page 113. Kabbalite Gunner Shredder changed the Blast Circle rule from Critical Hit rule exclamation point to a Special Rule SR. So again, not a huge deal. Haywire Grenade add the following Special Rule Limited. Uh, we know that was only supposed to be a one use. Tomb World, page 130, Necron Warrior Fire Team changed the operative requirements to a Necron Warrior Fire Team includes five Necron Warrior operatives, each separately equipped with a bayonet and one of the following options. Gauze Flare or Gauze Reaper. Makes sense. It was sort of strangely worded before, but I think it was pretty clear that you were to get one of those guns and then it had a bayonet on it as well. Uh, Hunter Cadre, page 137. Drones box out. Eighth bullet point. Change the DS8 tactical support turret operative requirements to DS8 tactical support turret equipped with a missile pod or smart missile system. So yeah, you get your choice of one of those two weapons. Again, Nothing too crazy here. Page 137, save your protocols. Add the following sentence. Friendly hunter cadre operatives cannot be protected by save your protocols from shooting attacks made against each operative within range of a specified point. E.g. remote mine, see kill team Octarius. Note that this also means they cannot be protected from the subsequent shooting attacks made as a result of the blast X or Torrent X special rules. Okay, so I think what it's getting at is if you have a blast or something like that that was going to hit the model, you can't use Save Your Protocols to have the drone block it. So if you were in a template or a blast radius or something like that, you can't be protected using Save Your Protocols because basically it's a blast weapon. The drone can't just like block a blast. It's designed to like block a bullet or attack, essentially, not the actual like blast radius. So that does make sense. Page 141, stealth battle suit shots free. Fusion blaster changed the ballistic skill characteristic to 3 plus. Page 144, MB3 recon drone characteristic changed the defense characteristic to 3. So that was a misprint. It was 4 before. It didn't make sense. Page 145, DS8 Tactical Support Turret Characteristic, change the defense characteristic to 3. Again, same thing. It was 4. I felt like that was a misprint, but now it's nice to know for sure. Brood Coven, page 158, Neophyte Hybrid Fire Team. First bullet point, change the Neophyte Hybrid Trooper Operative Requirements to Neophyte Hybrid Trooper, each separately equipped with a gun butt and one of the following options. So you get an autogun or a shotgun, and then obviously you can use your gun butt as your melee weapon. So... Nothing too crazy there, right in line. Uh, the main one, I think, was probably the drone one, and then a couple like small corrections. Next, we have the Pathfinders. And again, keep in mind, this is not a nerf or anything like that. This is specifically just to correct issues with like wording. So there may be some sort of rebalancing in the future. I know people are like a little up in arms about how strong the Pathfinders are. So this is just to fix errors in the wording or the rules as written. Kill Team Chalnath, page 55, save your protocols, add the following sentence. Uh, so this is the same one again. Friendly Pathfinder operatives cannot be projected, protected by save your protocols from shooting attacks made against each operative within range of a specified point, e.g. remote mine, see Kill Team Octarius. Note that this also means they cannot be protected from the subsequent shooting attacks made as a result of the Blast X or Torrent Special rules. So again, uh, you know, if you have a 
squig that gets killed and then explodes. He makes a shooting attack. It's just saying you can't use your drone to protect against that because essentially the shooting attack is the blast explosion. So again, just a clarification. Page 61, medical technician pathfinder, medic ability. Change the relevant part of the first sentence to read. The first time another friendly pathfinder operative, including a drone operative, would be incapacitated. So basically, just specifying that you cannot use the medic ability for him to save himself. So it, previously, when he was knocked unconscious or knocked out, you could use your medic ability. Now it's just saying you can use it on someone else, but not yourself. So no surprises there. It makes sense that he can't like get knocked unconscious and then get himself back up. Uh, page 63, MB3 recon drone characteristic. Change defense characteristic to 3. So it was 4, should be 3. That's obviously how it was meant to be. Page 65, MV31, Pulse Accelerator Drone. Characteristic, change the defense to 3. Again, same thing. Uh, you know, every other drone is 3, so it made sense that it would be 3. So that's it for the Pathfinder errata. Next we have the Novitiates. So, Kill Team Chalath, page 37, Tech Ops, Purge with Flame. Change the relevant part of the first bullet point to read, Attacks made by weapons with the Inferno X critical hit rule. Uh, so that makes sense. They're just basically making sure to specify that it is a critical hit rule. Page 40, Acts of Faith, Faithful Blessing. Change the relevant part of the first sentence to read, When a friendly novitiate operative is fighting in combat or making a shooting attack or a shooting attack is being made against it, in the roll attack dice step for the former or the roll defense, defense dice step for the latter of the combat or shooting attack. So it's basically saying to use Faithful Blessing, you can use it when you're the attacker or the defender, and it's specifying that you know during the attack dice step or the defense dice step is when this goes into play. So again, pretty much just common sense rules as written. Page 40, Acts of Faith, Blinding Aura. Change the final sentence to read, until the end of that activation, while that friendly operative is more than circle from the enemy operative. The friendly operative is treated as being in cover. While the friendly operative has conceal order, it is always treated as having a conceal order, regardless of any other rules. So it basically is saying that when you use the blinding or a special rule, that there's no way to take away the cover or the conceal order, i.e. the Pathfinder special rule, uh, like the recon drone or spotter. Uh, page 43, Novitiate Purgatus, Burning Advance, Unique Action, add the following sentence. You can only select a Ministorm Flamer for this action shooting attack. So obviously it was made for the Flamer, so that makes sense. It wouldn't do anything for anyone else. Novitiate Hospitaler, Mantra of Restoration Ability, change the relevant part of the first sentence to read, the first time another friendly Novitiate Operative would be incapacitated. So again, we're seeing this on all the medic kits. You cannot use the medical kit to save yourself. You have to use it to save a friendly model other than yourself. You could still heal yourself, but you can't save yourself from death. All right, next we have the Veteran Guard. Kill Team Octarius, page 44, Guardsman Orders. Add the following sentence. If more than one Guardsman Order could be issued by your Kill Team during this turning point, e.g. the Inspirational Leadership Tactical Ploy, page 45, they must be different Guardsman Orders. So essentially just saying you can't issue a Guardsman Order then use the inspirational leadership characteristic to issue another guardsman order that is the same. So it was pretty obvious that it was not meant to have the same one. So you can't basically add one to your movement and then add another one to your movement using the same order. You have to use two different orders. You can't stack the same order twice. So, you know, that's the only one it's really relevant on, I think, because the other ones are like reroll ones, and you can obviously only reroll one time. So tactical plays in Death Atonement, page 45. Change the second sentence to read, this operative is not removed from the kill zone until the end of your next activation or the end of the battle, whichever comes first, and does not count as being injured. So again, same thing, it, if it's the end of the game, you use this ploy and you don't have any activations left, normally you would use this ploy and then you would use your activation and then the motto would be removed. But in this case, if the battle ends and you don't have any more activations, the model is still removed before the battle ends. So again, just stopping you from like cheeky little things. When the guy is dead, if the battle ends, he still counts as dead. Page 46, Sergeant Veteran Plasma Pistol. Change the BS characteristic of both profiles to 3+. plus. Makes sense. Confidant Veteran Bolt Pistol. Change the BS characteristic to 4+. plus. 
Demolition Veteran Detonate ability. Change the second sentence to read. When making these shooting attacks, each operative is treated as being visible and not obscured. But when determining if it is in cover, treat the operative's mind token as the active operative. So it's visible and not obscured, so therefore making it a valid target, obviously. Because if it was obscured, it would not be a valid target. So just essentially just clarifying that. Page 49, Medical Veteran, Medic Ability, change the relevant part of the first sentence to read. The first time another friendly veteran guardsman operative would be incapacitated. Same thing again, can't save yourself. You can only save other people or heal, heal yourself or other people. Page 53, Battle Honors, Final Litany, change the final sentence to read. If you do, for the that operative's next activation, change the ballistic seal characteristic of its ranged weapon to 2+. plus. Each time a veteran guardsman operative gains a Battle Honor, Instead of determining one from its specialism, you can instead determine one from the Veteran Guardsman Specialist table below. You can either roll 1d6 to randomly determine the Battle Honor, re-rolling if it isn't suitable, or you can select an appropriate one. As with any Battle Honor, an operative cannot have the same one more than once. If a duplicate result is rolled, roll again until a different result is rolled. Final Litany. When the operative is incapacitated, you can use the In-Death Atonement Tactical Ploy without spending any command points if this operative is the veteran guardsman selected. If you do, for that operative's next, next activation, change the ballistic skill and weapon skill characteristic of its weapon to 2+, plus, respectively. So it does not gain the 2+, plus weapon skill. It's only for the shooting. Probably less relevant for most people, as that is like for your campaigns. All right, and then on to the commandos. This is the most notable one I noticed here, and I just kind of scrolled through here. Uh, most of the other ones were pretty obvious, but here we have Kill Team Octarius, page 61. Commando, Breacher Boy, Breacher Ram. Change the Brutal Rule from a Critical Hit Rule to a Special Rule. And then Commando, Breacher Boy, page 61. Bull Charge Ability. Change to read each time this operative fights in combat. If it made a charge move during the activation, it's Breacher Ram gains the stun critical hit rule for combat. Again, that was obvious. They just accidentally called it the wrong thing. Uh, instead of Breacher Ram, they called it the Power Ram, but it was obvious what they were talking about. Page 62, Commando Daka Boy, Daka Dash, unique action. Add the following sentence You can only select a Daka Shooter for this action's shooting attack. So, no more Daka Dash Dynamite. It was meant to be that way to begin with, I believe. Uh, you know, the special ability is for his gun, not for anything. So, again, just a fix right there, but it's nice to see it. That's going to make a big difference for the commandos. And, you know, that's how they should be played. Page 64, commando knob, keywords, add the following keyword, leader. He was obviously supposed to be a leader the whole time. Page 66, smoke grenade action. Change the third sentence to read, until the end of the turning point, an operative is obscured if every cover line drawn to it crosses an area of smoke. So that makes sense. Uh, every cover line drawn to it is obscured. Alright, so that is it. Uh, there's a bunch more. Uh, there's a bunch more updates from today as well. Uh, right now it's kind of a pain in the butt to kind of look through them and everything. I'm not going to go through all the individual ones, but they had some issues on the site where the language was kind of messed up. So if you just turn on to where it loads up everything, you just have to scroll through all the different languages and find the relevant one. But overall went through the most important ones, all the bespoke kill teams, uh, everything from the rule book and the compendium. But if there's a specific team on here that you wanted to look at as well, uh, that is also available. I think the only other ones we didn't talk about are the Warp Coven and the Hunter Cadre. So I guess we could just do them while we're here. Warp Coven is just designer's commentary. And the Hunter Cadre is an errata. So I guess we can just look at the Hunter Cadre while we're here as well. Okay. White Dwarf, issue 468, page 67. Psycharian Rust Stalker, Assassin, Transonic Blades. Change the attack characteristic to 5. Uh, so I'm not sure if it was four before or maybe six, but it is supposed to be five. So uh, not much there. Okay, so overall, uh, I like them. I think it's good that they fixed the, they clarified a couple things that were already kind of obvious, but now they're, you know, rules as written corrected. And then the Daka Dash ability is officially been corrected. Uh, and then also the blast thing is corrected as well. I think that makes a big difference. So 
Uh, well, there you have it, guys. Hopefully, you'll appreciate that. Uh, if you wanted to check these out for yourself, go over to the Warhammer community page, uh, type in FAQs, and then just go to Kill Team, and you can find all this. It's still a little glitchy when I first looked at it. It was showing like the Pathfinder one in a different language, but as soon as I just clicked for all the languages uh, and just kind of scrolled down, I could see all of them available. So, uh, well, there you have it, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content today. Let me know what you think. Are there any other things you need clarified? Uh, are any of these going to complete? break the game or finally they're fixing something that was broken before uh did you uh like the content make sure you like and subscribe for warhammer 40,000, kill team necromunda age of sigmar and of course war cry as well i'm warhammer man this is warhammer man studios and i'm out of here